All that this does is it puts the horses at risk, it stresses them out, and it allows tourists to go up and feel entitled to behave like children around these animals. This is seriously just a liability. Hey, bitch, and welcome back to another video of me talking about people I hate. I am so excited to react to this. I've been seeing this all over my feed lately. These videos have been popping off. And of course, because you know, I'm the OG equestrian reacts on this platform. All of you have been wanting me to react to this. But before we get into today's video, you guys, I do want to say that I post three to four times a month on Patreon and YouTube members, all exclusive horse videos and vlog life videos. So if you would like to see a behind the scenes on my life, since I no longer have any social medias, definitely subscribe to Patreon or YouTube members. It also really helps support the channel. So thank you so much to everybody who does. And speaking of massive supporters of the channel, I want to say a huge thank you to Pet Cube for sponsoring today's video. I know that we all are animal lovers on this channel, not just horses, but dogs, cats, etc. So this is absolutely perfect for all of you. I've worked with Pet Cube several times before and I absolutely love their products. I had the original Pet Cube Bites and they recently sent me the Pet Cube Bites too. If you're unfamiliar, Pet Cube creates cameras, interactive cameras that allow you to interact with your animals when you are away and check in on them when you are away. I can't tell you how many times I have seriously needed to check in on my animals and this product has come in handy because it allows me to check up on them wherever I am at whatever time. Also, if you're somebody who hires regular pet sitters, etc., this product is also great just for monitoring your animals and people coming in and out of your home. I mean, literally it's like a pet surveillance system for your house. It's absolutely amazing. Not only are these cameras incredibly affordable, but the quality is absolutely amazing. I love it. The lens is 160 degrees, plus you have a night vision mode and eight times the digital zoom. There's also a premium two-way audio with noise canceling microphones that allow you to communicate with your pet while you're away. Not to mention one of the best features is the pet detection feature, which just kind of lets you know when your pet's waking up or if they're walking around. Perhaps if you have some mischievous cats like I do, you can monitor them getting into your cabinets while you're away trying to pull out their treats. There really is no downside to having the ability to check up on your animals whenever and wherever and just ensure their safety and give you a peace of mind throughout the day. So if you guys would like to check out Pet Cube, which I know you do, you guys can click my link down below and use code RAWLY5 for 5% off your purchase on their websites. Thank you so much to Pet Cube for sponsoring this video. Let's get to it. Get off the right! Get off the right! You sure about that they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. You there are so many videos of the King's Guard horses. I think that's what they're called, forgive me if I'm wrong, biting or attacking or the Kingsguard hor mounted horsemen, whatever they're called, yelling at people. And I've seen so many of these videos. I cannot react to them all. So I'm just going to react to the top 10 moments of mayhem. Okay, let's just call it that. Personally, if you want my opinion right up front, I honestly think that this is just an outdated practice and they shouldn't even have mounted guards standing in front of the building anymore because it's just become a spectacle. You know, I understand that these are real military people and I think that that's great and they should have armed guards around. All that this does is it puts a horse at risk of injury and also the horses are just standing there being miserable. I know that they do switch them out. I think maybe every 30 minutes to an hour or something they, they rotate rotate. But still, I mean, these horses are just having to stand there all day with somebody on their back. I just think that this is a disaster waiting to happen. I mean, you're just going to get a bunch of rowdy, ignorant tourists that just think they can manhandle a horse. And then there's just going to be conflict arising because of that. <laughs> Sit 
Get off the right! Get off the right! Are you sure of other Get off the right! You see what I mean? You see what I mean? <laughs> All that this does is it creates a spectacle for people to come and take photos of. I totally understand these tourists are incredibly disrespectful people that think they can just go up and touch everything. If it doesn't belong to you, don't go up and touch it. You wouldn't go up to somebody who's a random person on the street and start manhandling them. So don't go up and do that to horses or animals. You wouldn't just, well, most people wouldn't, but you wouldn't just walk up to somebody's dog and think that you could pet it. So the fact that these people just think that they can walk up to these guard horses and just start grabbing the tack and manhandling the horse. I mean, gross. Grow up. It's like you have just a bunch of infants. Also, you can clearly see that they have armed guards in the back. Let's be honest, guys. The only people who are actually going to take control over a situation if something were to happen is armed police, armed guards. And you know why I know that? Because I've seen in multiple videos where the police have to come up and control the crowd. Again, all of this is just kind of for show. I mean, I understand that these guards are real guards, but I mean, come on guys. You can't just say that people need to be more respectful because that's never going to happen. People are basically babies this day and age. I mean, they feel entitled enough to walk up to some random person's horse and start grabbing it. This is just a bad life for these horses, and it honestly probably stresses out these soldiers. I mean, do you honestly think that these guys want to have their photos taken all day? I love the sign that says, beware, horses may kick or bite, thank you. If you're going to have mounted police or mounted guards, there should be a law that you are not allowed to just go up and touch them or take photos with them. That should be an actual law. They should have a sign that says, do not touch or take photos with horses. And then they should have armed guards there telling people, bye, go away, this is not a tourist thing. Get off the ranks! You know, people don't realize the type of bits that these horses are wearing have a super long shank on the end. For every pound of pressure that you add, it applies five pounds of pressure inside the horse's mouth. So it probably doesn't feel good for the guards to be yanking on the horse's reins constantly to get people off. I mean, I understand why they're doing it, and I totally agree with them yelling at her. But at the same time, it's the horse that ends up getting his face ripped off. So again, this is why I've come to the conclusion that this just shouldn't be a thing. The horse just got his face ripped off for doing nothing wrong. The horse is just standing there. I totally get it if these guards want to be yelling at these people. I would scream and yell at them too, but again, they need to have signs up that say, no photos, move along, bye, go take your touristy shitty photos somewhere else. Again, why are the armed guards not standing right next to them to be like, no, you're, you're not... You're not touching the horses, you're not taking photos with them, whatever. Because that way the armed guard can be the one screaming at them too and just pull them away. So that way the people on the horses don't have to yank on their face.
You know, this is also a huge public safety hazard to have all these people crowding the horses. Imagine if something happened and one of the horses spooked because, you know, you hear all these people say dead broke. There's no such thing as a dead broke horse. Every single horse will spook. Every single horse will run off if something happens or if they get scared. Horses are fight or flight animals. They're prey animals. They don't just stand still when they get scared. So all horses spook, no matter how well trained they are. This is a huge public safety hazard to have this many people crowded around these horses. If something were to happen and the horse were to take off running, it would trample a bunch of people. I would never walk up to a random person's horse, first of all, because horses are giant, dangerous animals and you never know if they're going to be friendly to you or not. And second of all, I would never walk up to somebody's horse if they're riding the horse because I have no idea if that person actually is a good rider. If they have control over the horse, I wouldn't want to cause the horse to spook, run off, or throw the rider. And I wouldn't want to cause the horse to spook and attack me and me get injured or just cause any problems all around. And I've been in the equestrian community for 18 years. I've been riding horses and I would not walk up to a random person's horse, even with having tons of horse knowledge myself. I'm so glad that the horse bit her. Oh my God, I'm so happy that that horse, I wish that more of these horses would bite these people because then these people would stop doing it. People just wanna pretend like they know anything about horses when they see them. I mean, I can't tell you how many people I know who want to pretend like they're so knowledgeable on horses when they went on like one trail ride and then they think that they know everything. It's, it's quite hilarious. And that's the type of people that you see wanting to go up and grab the horse's face. Yeah, he's biting people because he's annoyed. He doesn't want to be standing there and all of these people are just crowding him and they constantly keep coming up right next to him and he's like, give me space, get away, his ears are penned. Most people are completely ignorant and most people are also children. You know, most adults are children. So when you live in a world where everyone's feelings are protected and you're giving out participation awards to everybody, this is the level of entitlement that you receive from the general public. This is how people start behaving, that they're just entitled to go up to a random horse and touch people and touch another person's animal. Like I said, first of all, I don't think these horses should be doing this period. It's outdated. They have armed police and the armed police are the only people who are actually going to do something in the event of an emergency anyway. And second of all, all that this does is it puts the horses at risk. It stresses them out and it allows tourists to go up and feel entitled to behave like children around these animals. This is seriously just a liability. It's only a matter of time before the horse gets hurt or somebody else seriously gets hurt. And you know what's funny? If they take away the horse and it's just the guard standing there, I guarantee you that way fewer people would be crowding wanting to take photos. People only want to take photos because they want to take photos with the horse. So it's probably stressful for the horses and for the guards. That's all I had though. That's all I had for today's video. Thank you so much for watching you guys. And thank you again to Pet Cube for sponsoring this video. Once more, you can check them out. It's going to be the first link in the description below. But otherwise, I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.